There's nothing that would suggest that the federal government has ever really had much of an interest in protecting ordinary members of unions and their interests. While we can't tolerate organized time crime controlling the Teamsters, neither can we tolerate the government controlling our union. Giuliani wanted to make a name for himself and he started coming after the Teamsters union. We are not seeking overall control of the Teamsters union. The idea was to remove the mob from the union, have democratic elections, and nobody had a problem with that. They were going to be there for three years, clean it up, be gone. It's 25 years later, they're still there, and as far as I'm concerned, they're just bilking the union. What do we want? Freedom of speech! What do we want it now? What do we want? Freedom of speech! What do we want We were the largest local. We were financially sound. There was no problems in the local, but suddenly, they want to put us on the trusteeship and remove us from office and take over the local. Often things that are born of good intentions and at a time when they are needed live long beyond the time that they are required to be in place. Hence the expression, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. It was removed by the uh, IRB, Independent Review Board for the Teamsters, for talking to my best friend Bill Hogan. There's not much justice to what they did, obviously. Uh, it's hard to believe that it could happen in America, what they did.